given that matrix A equal to 4, 1, negative 5, 2, and matrix B equal to 8, 3, Y, 5, part A, find the value of Y for which the determinant, for which the determinants of A and B are equal. But B, hence find the inverse of B. So in part A question, they want us to find the value of Y. For which the determinant of matrix A and for which the determinant of matrix A and matrix B are equal. So say determinant of matrix A equal to determinant of matrix C B. And this determinant we don't have. So to find the determinant of matrix A and B, we are going to use matrix A, which has all the elements given. So matrix A is 4, 1, negative 5, 2. So determinant of matrix A equal to the product of major diagonal minus the product of minor diagonal. So which is a 4 times 2 minus negative 5 times 1. So determinant of matrix A will be equal to 4 times 2 is 8 minus negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. So now the determinant will be equal to negative times negative is C positive. So 8, 8 plus 5 will be equal to 13. So this is our determinant. So now we have this determinant. We can now find the value of A, I mean the value of Y. So now we are going to write an expression for matrix C, B in terms of determinant terms of determinant so determinant for matrix B B equal to major diagonal minus minor diagonal so the major diagonal here is 5, 8 minor diagonal is 3, Y so which is going to be 5 times e, so 5 times 8 Then y times e, 3. But determinant for matrix B equal to 13. So where there is determinant for matrix B, we are going to replace 13, which is going to be like so. So now 8 times 5 is C, 40. Minus y times 3 is C. 3y. So now at this stage, we have to take 40 to the other side, which is going to become 13 minus 40 equal to negative 3y. Okay, so let me just uh, erase this part so that I can create space. So 
the next stage from here will be negative 3y equal to 13 minus 40 which is negative so it's 10 minus 3 we are getting 7 then 3 minus 1 it's 2 which is negative 27 negative 27 so at this point in time you have to divide the coefficient of negative 3y which is negative 3 to both side of the equation so this will go so y will be equal to 3 to 27 which is positive 9 so this is the value of y we go to part b hence find the inverse of matrix b so now to find the inverse of matrix b we need its original matrix by depressing where there is y with what we have found so the original matrix will be 8 3 where there is y we depress 9 5 So I'm going to lab this part. So on the formula we are going to apply is inverse of matrix B equal to 1 over determinant of matrix B times adjoint of matrix C, B. So we have the determinant already. We have the determinant of matrix B, which is equal to 13. But we don't have the adjoint. So let's find the adjoint. So adjoint of matrix B will be equal to so for the adjoint we have to swap the major diagonal so the major diagonal interchange we are going to have 5 8 then as for the minor diagonal we are going to multiply negative so negative times positive 3 to be negative 3 the negative times positive 9 it will be negative 9 so this is the adjoint. So we have the adjoint. So adjoint of matrix B will be equal to 5, negative 3, negative 9, and 8. So we have gathered data. So now we are going to replace where there is a, where there is determinant with the 13. Then add the joint of matrix B. It's 5, negative 3, negative 9, 8. So from this stage, we have to distribute this fraction inside, which is going to be inverse of matrix B will be equal to 13 times 5, it's see, 5 over 13. Then, I mean, 1 over 13 times 5, it's 5 over 13. Then 1 over 13 times negative 9, it's negative 9 over 13. 1 over 13 times negative 3, it will be negative 3 over 13. 1 over 13 times 8, 
it will be 8 over 13. So this is how you should answer when you have uh, such a problem. Thank you for watching. This is Mr. Mringa E. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well as to share my videos and like them.